Hello, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. My name is Maybe Dennis. Careful you don't catch a chill. Oh, oh, I won't, don't worry. My name is Maybe Dennis, and last time we did Isard's hero quest as well as a bunch of side quests and what is essentially a unique boss gauntlet. <laughs> we fought a lot of uh, unique monsters last time, and I couldn't even progress, or I chose not to progress the story just so I can see and get all these sweet wave points. Ugh. And as you can see, when I press X, I got the expansion pass because this game is pretty freaking awesome. So I'm going to see what's what I get with it. So right now there's only two volumes, I believe. There's a new hero in Intense Battles. Another new hero, and I believe this is supposed to be like another story, which I'm glad it's not coming out for a while because I'm still in the middle of finishing the main story. Anyways, let's check out the adventure support pack. Expendable items, sure. Oh, that's a lot of Nopon coin. A bunch of accessories that I don't know I'll use. And color variations. Alright. I couldn't get all the Nopon silver because I have too much. Now let's see what this one is. New hero. New hero. Brand new hero joins the party. You will be able to experience a fresh quest line and add a completely new hero, a uh, new class to your roster. I don't know who this is. I remember it showed up in the direct, but at the moment I didn't bother watching it. I didn't bother to watch it, nor remember the name of the character. Oh, uh, well, she looks very. Uh, artificial. <laughs> like a robot, I think. And challenge battles. Challenge battles. Special challenges await, pitting you against mighty foes. Finding success in these will enable you to obtain special awards, including beachwear costumes for no Oh we get we get the swimsuit episode. Oh you can see it in the battle. Ah, cool. Well we'll do that eventually. I'm still in like the first third of the game probably. Or at the very least the first half. But um Cool. I don't I think I need to change anything in my arsenal, so I think I'll just continue and hopefully encounter that hero quest when I do, like whenever it happens. But now we can look at the map. Whoa, I didn't know I can do that. Oh, you can edit shortcuts. I completely forgot about that. We can see the map. I've uncovered a majority of it, I think, at least for this side of the map. And wait, there's something, there's a point of interest here. Oh, it's probably because of this thing and I can't do that yet. Actually, hmm. I wonder which region this new hero would be. We're in the We're in the third region. Alright, let's climb up this thing. This facility looks very out of place. Ooh, there's a, a rare doodah there. But yeah, today I plan on doing more of the main story. Maybe Maybe finish the remaining side quest that we have that we can do. So here we have Restart, which is within my level, Desert Hulk. And, okay. I'm kind of curious about Teach's, uh, Teach's Teachers because I wonder if it's going to be like Nopon Registry where you're supposed to do it bit by bit with the last part being the high level part. But maybe we'll go back and visit. I'm not sure. We'll see. Well, let's do a little bit more exploring and go up this vine. Hey, get a load of this. All right, we're at the top of this building. I kind of wonder if this is supposed to be progression or just to get that one shiny item. Actually, let's get these things first. All right, it seems like the purpose of this was just to get that one shiny item. Well, at least we have a sh oh, Kote Outlook. We have a shortcut down. Ooh. Or is this gonna kill us? Nope, we're good. Well, in that case, we can almost continue after I look at this middle island. Wait, level thirty-nine. What are they doing? Thirty-eight and thirty-nine. I can probably fight them now, but I don't think I should. Well We've been found. Uh, uh oh. Fighting on multiple fronts. Uh oh no. 
Level 38 and 39 seems to be that level range where we would see like the people in the overworld that are I think around level 40 that have like the question mark thing indicating maybe like a hero quest or something or just a point of interest but uh, I guess those people weren't them. Ooh. Oh, I have the urge to finish exploring. But if I do, I'm going to get so sidetracked. Ooh, that's it's container. Wonder what's inside. You can never go wrong with some ether. Oh god. I have 88 ethers, 89. All right. Got most of it. Let us continue. We are level 35, I believe. Nice. So things, like think, things level lower than level 30 won't hit us anymore. All right, we reached the exclamation point. What is our objective this time? Is that? That ain't Sword March. That's Kevis Castle, all right. First time seeing it. Oh, Kevis yeah. Castle. Same level of elaborate as Castle of Agnes. Can also see great sword on left. Oh, we can see the sword. Are we going through with this? No. I see it's far too risky now. The area will be under strict guard. But down slope, we could go via the forest. Mac to Wildwood, huh? Doesn't sound too bad to me. The forest zone, let's go. I wonder if any of our characters have ever been to the castle. Oh, are we going to see the queen? Oh, that's Ethel. Oh, -ho. where? Hell, never been this far in before. Me neither. The last time I had an audience with the queen, she had come in person to the war front. This is a gnarly looking castle. And the, that's the queen and her throne. Oh, whoa, whoa, was that Consul N? Commander Ethel, Faunus Forward, Army's Colony 4. Reporting in as ordered, Your Majesty. It has been some time, hasn't it? So this is the the person that kind of looks like Melia, if I recall. Mom, I'm elated to find you in good stead, Your Majesty. But she said, "Mom." That you would grace us with your. Which would, you know, technically be true. <laughs> your presence is an honor above my station. We can dispense with the stiff preambles, Ethel. N. Oh, that is N. The textures don't look N. too good. Consul N, that's him. N, the head honcho of Cavesi Consuls himself. Oh, the Golden Consul. He's a Golden Consul. So he's a top dog. Didn't ex I expected that. What is that? Dude, he sounds so much like Noah. He's got to be related somehow. He looks so much like him too. It utilizes breakthroughs in application of the annihilation effect. You've harnessed it. Oh, you can see the flame clock has two different colors. Oh god, it's gonna fire a laser. can utilize the annihilation effect not only is its power without equal it has another exquisite benefit let me show you what you mean right here and now indeed 
This will be its finest hour. The Orion Mountains. A terrible shame. Her Majesty has a soft spot for Oh god, it's gonna fire at the mountains. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh th that's it. Oh Jesus. What 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 was that? Just thunder, isn't it? Brighter than any lightning I've ever seen. Still ringing in ears. Where did the light come from? No idea. But this can't Wait, were we near the Orion Mountains? I'm not really good at remembering places. I wonder if that was intentional then. Oh man, I miss Ethel. Join our party again, you're super cool. But don't die, please. What incredible power. Its effective range has no discernible limit whatsoever. What are you? I'm saying an attack like the one you just witnessed can be delivered anywhere. So you, could, you mean to use this weapon against Agnes? And just use it to end the war. If you were to use this, then what about the clocks? Who said anything about using it on Agnes? Mom? The next target will be this. Oh no, that's Colony 4. Oh, so they're threatening Ethel and I forgot the, the lieutenant's name <laughs> or the vice commander. Oh, this is gonna. Oh no. Are we gonna lose Colony Four? Oh Jesus. <laughs> Are we gonna lose Colony Four? I'm kind of concerned. Oh man, if they fire a laser there, I don't know how are they're gonna. Recover from that. I wonder why, like, in a position of war, you would choose to fire at your own people over the, the like, enemy side. Though, like, it does clearly show that the, uh, the councils are playing their own game. Well, I imagine the queens are, like, either, like, with them or supporting them in some way, like... I guess maybe this war is for their entertainment. Well, anyways, let us continue. Me fall down. Oh god, no, 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 no. Down, don't look down. The Upa's gathering more monsters. Should be reaching Mac the Wildwood soon. Mac the Wildwood. I hear it's tough going inside. We'd best be on the lookout. Oh, I thought they weren't gonna attack us. No, we're stuck. Alright. It's over. This place is Dark. I'll handle this. It's just a time of day. It's three. Oh Jesus! Enemy! I'll hold them off. Watch the moss, guys. Mind you don't slip. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> he says, falling flat on his ass himself. Oh yeah, bloody hilarious. You're always taking the mick out of me, Noah. Huh? Did you say something? Oh, for... don't come crying if you fall. You seem like you're a million miles away. Lot on your mind? Yeah, yeah kinda. <sighs> oh, I was kind of hoping you knew it was on a trip. Uh? <laughs> oh, uh, no, that is not a slip. That is a... Uh, I'm running out of lifespan fall. Are you okay? Yeah. I just lost my footing for a second. I I'm okay. For now. I'm okay. For now? Are you... not feeling 100%? Ah? Uh, nah, nothing like that. I'm totally fine, promise. Like I said, I just miss my footing. This is a taste of a liar. If you start feeling worse, just say. I don't want you hiding it. Mm. You're a kind man, aren't you? I, I, I'm just a bit 
being polite. <laughs> Into land. He's like, I told you, man. Why? Why no? Why'd you have to hit me of all people? So what was on your mind earlier? Yeah, that light. I was wondering if it had anything to do with us. You think maybe... Could it have been something that Mobius did? Huh? We know that they're hunting us. Mm. Tyon, you told us before that our consoles were actually the same. Yeah, I did say that. After that, nobody said so, but we were all thinking it. The war between Agnes and Kevez and the consoles. Or rather, Mobius. They must be connected somehow. It could be that... all the fighting. It might be that it's all orchestrated according to Mobius. Yeah, uh -huh. And to them, Ouroboros only spell trouble. Since we keep wrecking their flame clocks and all, they must really hate us messing with their stuff, I guess. So we're one big thorn in their side. Mm. To be fair, they were hunting us before they knew we could cut flame clocks. That was just a a weird coincidence that Noah happened to have Lucky 7. It does stand to reason that's why we're their targets. But it doesn't tell us anything about why our colonies fight. Any theories? Not as yet. But I figure, isn't discovering that our real objective here? I'm right? kind of tired now. If we seek out the city, maybe we'll find answers. One way to know. Two sword march. Let's go. Should we rest? Rest spot discovered. Old way camp. Ooh. Wait, ah, uh, it's it's Bam Bam and Doran. Ugh, oh, this is so rank. What happened? I said I wanted a nice meat dinner, but why the spark would you ruin it by putting that in? Eat only meat is bad for body. Bam Bam put helpful ingredients, healthful ingredients. What's the issue now? Oh, hey, it's you again. Listen to this. This one's here trying to kill me. Spiking my food with the worst thing in the world, Glare Auburn. Aubergin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ugh, give me strength. Duty of cooking is split into shifts, and Bam Bam went to make healthful, healthful food with good ingredients for strength to travel far. Is that so crime? But Doran only yell at poor Bam Bam. It tastes of yuck, so stop, he yell. Ah, oh, no need to be so mean, Doran. Can you not sort this out? No, 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 no. Let me explain. Bodily health is fine. Whatever. Go for it. But surely putting up with disgusting food is actually harming my health of my harming the health of my soul. Even if he needs to put glare op albergans in my dinner, he could at least make an effort to make it taste like real food. Bam Bam, not kitchen slave. To grant extravagant wishes of Doran is nothing can be done. Uh, I bet Manana has some ideas, right? Oh ho ho! Of course! Manana has ideas! Manana can share a secret of making this ingredient sing! Uh, you do that? Hear that, Bam Bam? Mama! Bam Bam here, please teach secrets! Manana obliges! Before start, we need to find nectar of bubble bubblesia. Is bub bubblesia a flower? Correct. It bloom at Amony's Hallows. Okay, we can take care of providing those. Doran, you two make the preparations for cooking. It can do. A, a more balanced recipe. I, I didn't expect to get this. So that's the state of affairs. Well, okay, this is about the quest. 
Okay. E through nose. On second thought, probably not best aperture for this job. I was just gonna talk to the trader pawn. Oh Let's wait. See what you have. Uh, can I sell like oh oh I feel like I sold something very valuable. Uh well nothing I can do about that now. <laughs> Can I, can I buy, I don't even know why I sold. I'll find this out when I edit it. Okay, we got the stone. The yellow no pawn stone. We have some new names registered. And yeah, some more no pawn here. Damn, that's a gaggle of no pawn. Uh, we could. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. So progression is this way, going through this area. But. Uh, we could do the quest for Doran and Bam Bam. A more balanced recipe is level 35. And where does Ray, this take us? I hope it won't slow us down too much. Oh, we need to collect a bubble. Are we? Oh, they gave the location, but I completely forgot it. Amani's Hollow. Oh man, I'm so bad at remembering the name of places. Ah, screw it. I have no idea where Amity's Hollow is. It doesn't sound familiar. I'll do it when I do the bunch of side quests and maybe look Change it up. Plans. Onwards with the mo. More dialogue. Ryan Mountains, blow away! Mountains already in the old state. No thanks to Annihilation, but even more Scruffy Heap now. Not only sad, but scary too! Let's just continue with the story. If I sold a, a good item, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, I have to check. I'll be right back. All right, what I sold were right white wraps and it doesn't seem like it's game breaking. So I can continue on with a clear conscience. This place is quiet. Uh, wonder if there's another way somewhere. I was wondering why Senna went up further. Quiet here. Oh, no. Spring of Ron Ronner. Alright, it's it's not gonna come all the way here, is it? Just Diagro. Oh, no, it's coming all the way here. How did it? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How did it kill me? And I wasn't even in range. Oh my god, I don't know. You think you're all that, do ya? Oh, it's gonna be flying. Conquered! Alrighty. I'm the girl with the gall. What do we got this time? I mock the wildwoods. Wildwood. Man, those Mobius mooks. They make my feathers stand on end. Ending people's lives like it doesn't matter. Oh, what a sick joke. Their word for people like that? Know what Nopon say? No idea. Tell us. Super villain pawn. <laughs> has to end in pawn. What does that mean then? It'd be the extreme bad guy. Ah, I think I get it. Mama? What's up, Manana? Ben, I know we're in Mio and friends, super villain pawn. You're labeling us? Labeling. Because friends used to end lives also. <sighs> that not make them super villain pawn? I mean, it's not like we ever had a choice or anything. It was them or us. So when no choice, not fall under definition then. None of us ever fought because we wanted to. It's just how it worked. How people worked. 
and the world. So, world is super villain pong. Huh? Yes, the world is evil. Kill the world. world is Annihilate bad. it all. Fire the beam straight the into the core. Bad. Huh, I never thought of it like that. Now that you mention it, what in the world are we even here for? I wouldn't strain your brain too much. Sounds like you have. What gave you that idea? Cut the snark, just tell me. The end point of it is suicide. So what? If you don't want to hurt others, you'll end up denying your own right to survive. Eventually, you come to the conclusion that the world may well be better off without your presence. The only resolution then is to erase the self, to die. Damn, that's See, dark. Pointless. Isn't that taking it too far? The world doesn't just vanish because you've closed your eyes. What? The moon. Think about it. Why is it that the moon shines? Just because we're watching? Of course not. Even if humans were gone, it would shine on, illuminating the land beneath. And yet, we're the ones that give meaning to it. We say, bit dim tonight, or looks brighter than usual, eh? Similarly, we can now imbue the world with meaning or change it. It's a privilege we were lucky to obtain. And that's... The power of Uroboros. Not really. We're obliged to use it. We can make a difference. Okay, never so mind. We don't become super villains. That's one thing to aim for, at least. Right? Whoa, check this place out. Vista of Runner. Since there's a dead body here. Oh, there we go. Oh. All I had to do was walk 50 meters to the next story cutscene. Hey. You sure we're going the right way, guys? I am never sure, Lands. I am never sure. Um. Mm, well, it's a path, at least. Looks like it's going to be a real pain getting through here. True, but we don't have the luxury of loitering. Well, I don't see any other road to take, so let's just get this over with. Something's going to happen. Someone's going to be looking over from the distance like Valdi was. Oh! Oh! We get to learn the skill finally! Who is this person? <laughs> uh, I think that looks like Agnian. I don't uh, no, I don't know actually. I'm not wearing a uniform. Oh, that is definitely Agnian. What? What the? An ambush? Oh, uh, I don't know who this is. Oh, I guess we're getting a new hero. <laughs> Probably. Oh, yeah. Natural selection. Level 31. Oh, we're... No, we'll, we'll have to hit the other people first. Oh, God. It's such a mess. There's so many people on screen. I am not sure who I'm hitting. Oh, okay. We, we got one of them. <laughs> That took out a lot of them. We're at three out of five. We can definitely kill the other person with the chain attack. I'll go for the chain attack when she's hit to very low HP so I can do more, get more EXP bonuses. So she's an archer. Oh, she has barrier stuff. 
so is she a tank or an attacker? I can't tell. It's weird to say that an archer is a tank, but I saw a lot of barriers just now. Uh, she's also evading a lot. An evasive tank, maybe? And to be fair, the Zephyr, which is also an evas evasive tank, didn't really look like a tank class, but it, it definitely was. Alright, this is good enough. Let's do it! I actually kind of hope it's a new defensive class. Not a huge fan of the classes we have so far. 348k. Oh, it looked like that person died on the screen. They're an archer. Juniper, that's her name. We just want to pass through. We're not looking for trouble. Come on, guys. What's your problem? Juniper, Imogen's at her limit. She can't keep going. Huh? Spark! And we could have had their life, too. So close. <gasps> That's very unfortunate. We'll have to retreat, then. Oh, is her flame clock going out? What was all that about? Noah? What's wrong? I was just thinking. About that archer? They seem quite the formidable opponent, to be sure. No, I think the other person. That's true, but... There was something else about them. Say, you don't think... Those soldiers' flame clocks. They might be getting low. Oh, come on, Noah. You'd better not be thinking of offering your assistance. It's... hard to put into words, but... something's off. What, and you think we have time to be traipsing around on this whim of yours? It really bothers you? Yeah. Give it up, Tyon. Once Noah's like this, there's no stopping him. Oh, Mio, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> Besides, Noah's intuition's usually pretty on the mark. We could just take a look. A, a tiny little peek? Fine. I can see no amount of reasoning is going to dissuade you. However, if it turns out to be nothing, we head straight back and move on. Acceptable? That's fine. Okay, let's move. We should be able to catch up to them if we follow their tracks. Natural selection. Is this part of the main now. story? Yep. Wow. There are a no, you good amount. When their flame clock runs low. They'll come on us like starved beasts. Yeah, I know. But I can't just turn a blind eye. There's a pretty good amount of hero quests that seem mandatory. Ah, uh, this is going to be like the time with Grey. Oh, we're gonna learn this skill. Nice. What in the world is this oh, device for? That's why we can't continue. Alright, yeah, in that case, I am doing this hero quest. Then I am backtracking to get all of the areas where we could have slid down. There's also an area in the beginning of the game in the um the first region where I just kinda didn't explore. So I kinda wanna go back to do that too, but uh Definitely after this hero quest. This hero quest is going to be important. How much of the map did I cover with that? A decent portion. Judging by how the tracks stop here, it seems that this is where those soldiers pass through. Through here? But how? Hmm. Doesn't look easily traversable, does it? Yeah, I can't see us getting across there anytime soon. We could always take a detour. Look, this way. Yeah. Thanks, Tyon. Like I said, we can't afford to be hanging around here. Come on, we haven't got all day. Nimble little so-and-so slided down here on a rope. I wonder if they could teach me to do that. Oh, we're gonna learn, all right. We're gonna learn. Well, we've been found. Whoa. I didn't even see this thing approach. Ah. Where am I supposed to go? I guess here. More wires. Yep, up here. Ah, this is where the colony is. Wonder what number the uh Agnes. This I wonder what letter crazy. this will be. There was a colony here. That's right. This is an abandoned colony. Oh. Please listen to us. We didn't come here to fight you. Mm. We can free you from your flame clock. Free us? 
You don't have much time left on yours, do you? We can help you with that, so if you just... Stop attacking you? Yeah. Hmm. All right. I'll hear you out. Uh... Please. Thank you. Come in. This They're sounds like we're us. going to be ambushed. Calm that guard down. <laughs> Always nice to have Whoa, it's friends. red all of a sudden. Oh, I guess it's, it's a sunset. But still, <laughs> that scared me, man. Hey, colony info updated. Colony Tau. Colony Tau entrance. Tenant yeah. Rhine. It's quite unlike any other colony. Juniper. Commander Juniper has decided we won't attack you, but I dare you to try some funny business. We'll see how you fare then. Always nice to have more friends. Please come inside. Oh, they've got the agriculture stuff going. Uh, this is Colony Tau. As you can tell, it's seen better days. Always nice to have more friends. So it's an abandoned colony. Ooh, Xeon would like this area. It's an abandoned colony. Does that mean they don't get support oh, from the castle, or does it mean, like, even for a place uh, this tumble down, the people here seem so resigned? Yeah, it feels like it's completely cut off from the outside world. I wonder what it, like, what an abandoned colony means. Because I imagine if that's the case, they don't I've actually have to. I've seen a few to... colonies with dwindling flame clocks before, but this one is especially bizarre. If they're disconnected, they don't have to actually do the stuff with the flame clock, but I guess that's not the case. It's like they're not trying to survive here at all. Do you get that impression? Back when I was stationed at Lambda, I'd heard rumors about Colony Tau. What did they say? That deep in the forest, there's a colony with some very peculiar customs and traditions. This is my first time seeing it in reality, but I never expected it to be so run down. I wonder what he means by very peculiar, because it doesn't seem that different from your average colony, or not that I know of. It seems a little bit more depressing, but there are growing fields too. Did you have any dealings with it? None at all. This is just hearsay from Commander Izzard. <laughs> yes, Commander Izzard's in the party, just like, huh, did you call my name? Anyway, we should hurry. Let's smash the flame clock and free everyone. It being an abandoned colony, we are continually starved of sufficient life sources. Wait, are you the commander? That's right. Sorry, I failed to tell you before. I am Juniper, and it's my job to lead Colony Tau. If that's so, then surely you must know who we are. I'm afraid I know nothing. Oh, is that what they mean by abandoned? Like, they just have no connection with the mainland. They just have to live by the flame clock and that's it? Oh. We have no need of such information. Juniper told us we'd welcome you in, whoever you might turn out to be. So, that's the rule. We don't ask questions. But you attacked us back there. Our scouts told us about some monsters in the forest they've never seen before. So, we sent them out on a hunt. But then they bumped into you en route. They must have figured it'd be more efficient to get you out of the way first. So, contrary to our plan, we were made to retreat. Oh yeah? What about your consul? Where are they hiding? I told you, this is an abandoned colony. Our consul rarely visits us. You're in such a strange situation. All the more reason to get you out of this predicament. I think you guys are getting the wrong end of the stick here. It's true. We aren't afraid of Colony Tau's flame clock running out. Huh. All it means is the end of our days gazing at our ever-diminishing supply. That is pretty depressing <laughs> but you could die uh-huh as if we just let you waltz in and break our flame clock and we all have to perish someday if our lives should expire then we'll sink into silence darkness oblivion we'll return to the earth <sighs> yes but you can't just the land will take us and we will simply be that's how it is at colony tau no one will ever think of us, and yet here we are. Oof. Slowly but surely, we are withering. We don't always find the nutrition that we need to live. 
If Colony Tau cannot accumulate the vital flames it needs, then it proves only that we were too weak. And in nature, the weak are destined to perish. The logic would dictate that nature is pushing you to become stronger. If we set you free, you won't have to worry about all this crap. We neither worry nor fear for what may come to pass. We've already lost so many of our friends and allies. And every time we return to their bodies to the Earth, such will be our fate. What's the point of fearing the inevitable? We know we're gonna die. What's wrong with us living the way we always have? But how do you live without hope? It will spell the end of the story that our predecessors weaved for generations. A tale cut short. I would argue that it feels a little melancholy. In that sense, if we were to be freed from the flame clock, then... Juniper! Bad news! Tell me. The monsters are coming straight for the colony, and they already took one of us down. No. They came all the way here. We'll join you. Huh. Always nice to have more Ooh, friends. Now it's a lot brighter. The color palette shift. Oh, I don't know why that happened. Mm. Juniper, we need orders. This is perfectly fine. We'll defeat them right here. Juniper. What are you? Ask us later. We'll back you up. Thank you. I'll fight to the best of my ability as well. What Here are you? Uh, defender? I'm going to assume Defender because I'm not sure. And we don't really have too many Defenders compared to the Always other classes. Nice oh no, she's Attacker. Okay. Oh, she's in our party now too. Radiant Cascade. During chain attack, boost damage dealt to low HP enemies by 70%. Ooh. And her effect is, when chosen, increase damage point ratio by 50%. Nice! That's just gonna be good damage. Let's see what this looks like. Radiant Cascade. That damage seemed pretty good, actually. Seems like she could actually be a buffer. Arts follow-up, what's that? What? Wow, that took a long time. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, new record, 725,000. day that we get a million is not too far off. We Gim's okay. He's still alive. I'm so Thank glad the flames. we made it in time. I'm so glad. Again, accept my thanks. We couldn't have done this without you. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I suppose it's strange of me to talk about the laws of nature when I fear losing my friends. Yeah. Not at all. Honestly, that seems like the most natural thing of all. When you told me that you would release us from the flame clock, I thought that if you really were telling the truth, it would make life easier. To be fair, if someone just came to my abandoned colony and said that, I would have thought they were, you know, some kind of scammer. <laughs> so what would they scam me out of at that point? But at the same time, I began to hate the fact that I was looking for a way out. Looking up at our clock, seeing the life ebbing away. I'd already accepted my fate. And letting go of that status quo, wretched though it was, after so long, I was scared of what might happen if we did. Juniper. Noah, your words at the time seemed so appealing to me. I could not destroy the collective efforts that became the colony and everything it represents with my own two hands. But then you said you would destroy it for us. We'd be guilt-free. If that isn't appealing, then what is? You must have been aware of how tragic it is to simply await death. That's why you invited us, isn't it? Even now, I'm not afraid of dying. But I hated the idea of losing those I hold dear. When I saw my friend lying there, I remembered what you told me, and 
for a brief moment. I felt the grip of fear. I felt so weak and helpless, yet at the same time, I didn't want to let go of my dear friend. So I must have closed myself off. I stopped thinking, closed my eyes and covered my ears. Perhaps I was simply waiting for the inevitable release. Even so, we have to keep thinking. That's right. Even if there are things we'd rather not see, we still need to look. And breaking out of your shell, scrambling in desperation for a way to escape despair. That's not what I call being weak. You've defended this place for so long. Why? Because you're strong. And once you're no longer shackled by the rules of the flame clock, you can accept a different reality. I'm gonna have that feeling I had in Isert's quest where I'm like, is, it, is this the end? It can't be. Though it is like a mandatory story one, I don't think they would want to keep it too long. But it, it, if it was the end, it'd be so short. You can become stronger still. They're having such a... I know it. Such a moment here, I can't tell. You can. You can. It won't be easy, far from it. But we'll help you. Maybe the console will just appear out of nowhere and be like, Hi, long time no see. Whoa! Juniper. Ouroboros is here. It's your call. We've made it this far thanks to you. Yes, I suppose so. If there is a possibility that you can release us from the clock, then please. And if not, it's not like anything's changed. <laughs> Very true. If you can't break it, I can live with that too. Nothing changes without a reason, without a cause. The music stopped. This seems like a prime opportunity for, for one of the Mobius' consoles to sneak in. Oh, never mind. It was just looping. Perhaps this event will teach me to see things in a new light. I am super suspicious of everything at all times. <laughs> Here we go! Flame cloth destroyed. Colony Tau liberated. I feel like the Agnes warning shouldn't go up since this colony was already abandoned. But okay. I see acceptance is actually surprisingly easy when it comes down to it. I think it probably is, yeah. Uh. I'm sorry if this seems rude, but could I ask another favor of you? There we go. Sure. I'd like to learn much more of the world, become a stronger individual. To that end, is there any chance I could accompany you? Really? This seems like the end of a hero quest. It's so short, though. What do you say, guys? We could certainly do with someone of Juniper's caliber. It'd be reassuring to have you on board. You're very welcome to join. Is your colony going to be OK, though? Can they get on without you? Colony Tau needs to undergo change too. We need to extend our knowledge and grow. So I'd like you to take me on a trip, somewhere far away, and show me something new. A journey of discovery, huh? I guess that's another thing we need in order to grow. Might be an idea to send some of our younger recruits out too. Could be a good lesson. It's time to breathe new life into our colony. Let us break free from the chains that once bound us. I guess I'm still hanging about, though. Can't have us all gallivanting about the place. Your consul really doesn't bother to show up, huh? Even after we broke the flame clock? You'd think they'd know. Better this way, if you ask me. Yeah. Still, we shouldn't rule out the possibility that they'll make trouble for you. If something happens, you tell us immediately, okay? Sure, can do. We'll be counting on you. Well, we don't have all day. I think it's about time we made tracks, no? You're right. Time to move then. Well then, everyone. Ah, don't worry about us. You know we can handle ourselves. We'll prove that Colony Tau can be so much more. Yes, I'm sure it will be. Off you go then. Skedaddle. The colony's staying right here, waiting for your return. Wow, that was so short. But oh, that was. I was fully packed of existential existential dread. Oh, natural selection. We got rope sliding. Nice. Oh, I'm pretty sure Noah's going to narrate this. Yeah, but this is this is the first time we got a class inheritor from the other colony. I think so. Juniper's class class stalker roll attacker. 
Deals low damage to individual targets, but excels at managing aggro. Low damage at, to individual targets, excels at managing aggro. Work with allies to make good use of art follow -up fields. Rope sliding. This is a traversal skill that Juniper taught the party. It lets you grind on ropes set up on the field, allowing you to descend smoothly and quickly from high places. The Art of Flow. With the Art of Flow taught to you by Juniper, you can cancel art into other art without using fusion art. Nice. Art of Flow. Successfully canceling fills the chain, the chain gauge slightly. Oh, so you need an item for it? Uh, I guess so. Cool. Let's check this class out. I still want Isser in my party since he's so good, but in that case, you need Tyon, Lands are all, all rank 10. Probably gonna switch some classes then. Well, Noah's gonna get the uh, the new class the as tradition me. every time. I heard that Colony Tau had some peculiar customs, but this we have some new names registered. 